Hey, how you guys doing? I'm USMC Doc 14 from JKHunters.com, Pirate4x4.com, doing another instructional video for you. Uh, this one is on the Harbor Freight Mini Mill Model 44991 or the Sieg X2 clone. Uh, you've seen this in my other videos where I'm like milling out 80% lowers and stuff. Anyway, um, as with all of my videos, be safe, don't be dumb, don't do anything stupid. Uh, also, I utilize colorful vocabulary, so if you have any small children, please, you know, keep that in mind if, in case I swear. Anyway, this little mini mill has absolutely kicked butt and has produced a lot of 80% lowers. The downside is it is a mini mill, so it has some limitations. One of the big limitations, it is a plastic gear set. So when you're dumb, like I was, and you try fly cutting, you end up destroying the plastic gears inside the main unit. Well... This is actually a pretty common occurrence. It's such a common occurrence that they, have, they offer an aftermarket belt drive upgrade for it that costs about 100 bucks plus shipping and handling. But I'm like, you know, it's 100 bucks, but the problem is you're still stuck with the factory, you know, Harbor Freight motor and speed controller. And the motor on that is limiting. I mean, it kind of sucks. And I'm like, well, let me see if I can spend $100 and completely upgrade it. So what I did is I went on to Craigslist and I found myself a treadmill. Okay, yeah, that's right, boys and girls. Trusty treadmill. This bad boy has probably seen more times as a coat rack than somebody actually exercising on it. Welcome to the world of fat Americans. You can get treadmills on Craigslist for under $100 all day long. This one cost me a whopping $40. Okay, it is a Image 10.0. Ooh. Anyway, seeing as people have gone and taken uh, treadmill motors and converted them for lathes, I was like, you know, let me see if I can convert it for a mini mill and went to work and adapted treadmill motor to mini mill. Now, everything you see here is all leftover steel and parts from the treadmill, okay? This is the, the actual motor from the treadmill, the actual flywheel from the treadmill. This is actually the, <laughs> the wheel that goes on the tread part of the treadmill that for some odd reason perfectly pressed onto the spindle of the Harbor Freight mini mill. Now, if it works fine, it works fine. If it doesn't work fine, whatever, I'll upgrade it with a metal one with set, set screws later on. Now, the great thing about treadmills is it's a DC motor, so they're reversible, like, because all DC motors, you can just reverse the polarity on them, but you've got to be careful. Some of them are directional specific. Now, this one was marked for the original direction, and with the directional specific ones, sometimes the uh, brushes, which are located here and here, will be offset a little bit to allow better brushing wear as it's rotating, okay? This one I got lucky because it's a cheap Chicom focus. Come on, focus, there we go. It's a cheap Chicom motor, and the brushes were centered, so it really did not care if it ran forward or backwards. But in order for it to run backwards, you're... I don't know if you can see it. There we go. This is a left-hand threaded shaft. So if I ran it backwards, it would unthread. So all I did is I went and drilled clear through, put a roll pin in there, and it red, tightened it up, red Loctite it, roll pin. The chances of this shearing are slim to none. So now I can safely run it backwards. The other great thing about treadmills is they have a digital speed controller. So instead of playing with that stupid potometer dial and sometimes it doing stupid crap if the thing thinks it's overheating or whatever, it stays a nice steady speed. I'll cut this down and get rid of all the extra crap. What I'll probably end up doing is mounting my, my digital readouts on this. It's all one nice centralized unit, which I think will be pretty pimp. Uh, sorry about the mess. It died in the middle of me machining, and I saw no point in cleaning it all up. But as you can see, everything's all mocked up. I, test ran, I bench, res, bench tested it, okay, um, running backwards, and it ran perfectly fine. Everything was all happy. Now, this is the initial test run, okay? <laughs> I figure if I'm going to electrocute myself or set something on fire, I might as well do it with a live audience. So let's go turn this bad boy on. Okay, other great thing about treadmills, dead man switch. Pull this, it kills off. So let's go over here. Now mind you, this is all mocked up. It's just in place for now. What you have, now let me go around. Okay, what you have is you have the, the on-off box, uh, capacitor, speed controller, all that. This will all be contained inside a nice sealed box. Same with a sealed box for the uh, the motor so that crap doesn't get in there. Lights come on. 
Ooh, it made happy noises. That's a good thing. Okay. Uh, none of the magic smoke escaped out. That's good. So, let's go and put this on one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy fucking mill. No weird wobbling, no weird nothing. So let's turn it up a little bit. I mean, that is nice and slow. Uh, I'll have to test to see how good the torque is, but right now it's just a function test. Let's bring it up to three. It's coming along perfectly fine. Five and a half. Should we go up? Well, let me move over here for ten. <laughs> Now the benefit of that is I don't have to change between high and low speed gears. It's all pretty self-centered. <laughs> that fucking kicked ass. Anyway, let me go and finish this bitch up and do some test mill. Now what I, what I want to do is I want to actually run a tack so I can get a true RPM so I'm not guessing on my cutting speeds. Okay, and I also have to install a lock for this thing so that um, I can go and I can remove the drawbar easy. That's why I left space down here. But anyway, that's USMC Dock 1.4 with a uh, treadmill upgrade for a Harbor Freight Mini Mill. Uh, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.